from your home team. This is 25 News at 5. We start with a call for justice tonight after a couple was killed apparently on a moped early this morning in Pekin, but the driver did not stick around. It's Thursday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. Police say it was a hit and run crash that claimed the two lives. And they want help finding what may be a stolen car, a dark colored older model Chrysler 200 right here. Now, Sam Matheny talked with friends of the victims and joins us live near the crash scene. Sam. I'm here near the Pekin Riverfront where two people were ran over on their moped by a Chrysler 200 that was a dark colored early this morning. We heard from Pekin Police Department that one of the people who was ran over the woman was actually pronounced dead at the scene. The man was then later pronounced dead after being taken to a nearby hospital. Now, a neighbor tells us he saw the moments just before the crash all unfold on one of his security cameras. He, as you can see, the moped going down Caroline Street was then followed by two vehicles, then a flash frame from the right side of the vehicle, which we assume is the crash unfolding right on the scene, as you can see there. When we arrived here this afternoon, we saw three friends of the man who was hit. They were bandmates of him, just about to release an album, and they say they just want justice. He was really like a brother to us, a great Cuba player, a, a great friend, and it's really sad that... It's really sad that he's gone and we have to like go through all this without him. I want whoever did this to, you know, actually let this way on them come forward. You took somebody very important. We are still awaiting the identities of the two people who were killed. Pekin police say they are looking for a dark colored 2015 Chrysler 200. Now, what we know so far is that two people were killed on their while driving a moped, but